So, the Parkland school shooter is getting fans from in prison. It may be hard to believe and even, even harder to stomach, but teenage girls, women, and even older men are sending letters to the suspected mass murderer, Nicholas Cruz. Stacks of fan mail and love letters are now piling up at the Broward County Jail. CBS 12's Lulu Ortiz joins us live outside the jail tonight in Fort Lauderdale with a closer look at these letters and an expert's view behind the killer's groupies. Lulu? Now, Nicholas Cruz remains here behind bars on suicide watch, so he has not seen any of the letters. Now, many find it very disturbing because these letters are coming from all over the world, mostly from teenage girls. If you need to talk, I'll listen. Only if you're comfortable, please send me a picture of yourself. I will continue to pray for you and your brother. You can write back. These are just a few examples among the stacks of fan mail obtained by our partners at the Sun Sentinel. Hundreds writing to Nicholas Cruz, men and women, young and old, from all over the world, from New York to as far as Germany. Some offering friendship, encouragement, or even money. Most of the letters from teenage girls include a description of what they look like or a provocative photo. There's a certain charisma attached to these people. Clinical and forensic psychologist Dr. Lawrence Miller says fans or groupies are usually people who are lonely or feel they are unlovable and see Cruz as a person they want to save. Serial killers, mass murderers, what they're doing there is they're going one step further and they're identifying with these individuals because it gives them a sense of potency and power. These fans created Facebook pages proclaiming Cruz's innocence. Others sympathize with Cruz because they say he was bullied, orphaned, and diagnosed with mental illness. Any situation like this is, is difficult to, to, you know, for some people to fathom. Mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons we're writing about it is to, you know, it's, it's just there's this segment of society that is attracted to this type of thing. I mean, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's, what is wrong with y'all motherfuckers, man? This motherfucker full-blown murder 17 kids and y'all his fans now? Little white girls is writing him letters now? Who the fuck is raising these white folk? What are y'all going to tear into the homes of these white people to try to figure out what the fuck is going on? Is it because they're being raised by single parents? Is that what it is? Does that make them liable to be? What about the parents that's writing up here being fans? Is it something going on with them? Them got motherfuckers all the way in Germany? Like, get into the households of these motherfuckers, these sick, crazy motherfuckers that will have the... Even the, the mindset that would idolize somebody that could do some shit like that to innocent people. Because he was bullied. He got mental illnesses. Y'all trying to save him. Y'all notice that they go through all this shit for white folk, but they ain't really trying to save no black folk like that. I want y'all to just, just notice that. They ain't really interested in saving black folk, starting no pages to fight injustice against black folk or anything like that. That's not type shit white people own. The type shit they own is starting fanboy pages for a murderer, a terrorist, and sending letters and offering money. And I mean, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. White folk, the fuck wrong with y'all, man? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I know they got this psychologist on here trying to, you know, talk slow about charisma and all this bullshit like that. No, something's wrong with y'all motherfuckers. And they too professional to get on TV and tell you. So I do it. Something's wrong with you. You have to see that this is something that white folk do. They did it with Charles Manson. This is something that white folk will do. What the fuck? 